Okay, and here's a quick um, run through of the setup for Core IT Signing Code. Or just entire screen, eh? Yeah. Okay, and. All right, go through setting up Core ID. Yeah. The first thing we want to do is pull the repo, which we already have in, in this particular computer, so we won't. Go through that. Where's the term? Oh, you had it right there. Almost so all the way to the left. Do you remember where you had it installed? Um, it's on the desktop. The core ID stuff? Oh. Um the Bitcoin stuff. Well, I mean we can do that first. We might need to pull the uh, repo. Okay, so we're going to start by running the Bitcoin D server. And now it's running. Nice. Better than the other computer, huh? Yeah. And now, next, we need to make sure that it is, it is, it has correct configurations. So in Mac OS X, if you navigate through the library, and it, I think application port point. Yeah, and so you should be able to find this folder. We've yeah. already set this up before, but if you run that slash Bitcoin D initially, yeah. it'll just generate this folder, and you can delete all the contents and just add the Bitcoin dot com folder, which is the configurations we have listed, yeah. and and then right here. This is. The documentation, nice. just copy over this config. If I cat this bitcoin.conf, we see that it's the same. Yeah. So it's great, it works. Um, next, now we want to go to the repo itself to run the code. So let's see, where do you remember where you left the repo? Um, it's in um, the um, core ID GitHub um, repos. But where is that? Um, if, if you ls, it'll be one of the things that pops up. OK. OK, so now. Weird. You don't. Maybe we need to like sync it. Oh no, it's the wrong one. It's the. It's not the. Alex oh yeah, one. right. There's a few forks. Let's just make sure we're up to date. Get pull. So now we have everything. And then we should run npm install just to make sure we have all the packages. Nice. Including. Now we have to run Nginx. I'll make sure. Most creatively spelled name of a package today. If you don't have Nginx, you should just you can install it with Homebrew. It should be pretty simple. Yeah. Um, I, I should have it from Friday, I think. Yeah, you should have it running. I can't remember the command for running it. Okay. So, and for Nginx, So for us, the 
So for us, we have these config files. Okay. And so we're gonna, if you cat this nginx, we're gonna modify right, uh, right here. So we've copied over our location. Well, we've copied over the, how, how we proxied over. We're going to proxy. And so we have, we see for this location, we have location localhost 8332 and localhost 3000 because that's where our base app is hosted. Right now we have our listening port on 81 instead of 8080 because of reasons. Mm -hmm. Cores stuff. It's just, well, not cores, but oh. because there was something else running on 8080 and oh, I didn't okay. want to mess with it. Good, thank but you. You don't, you don't have to do that. All right. Um, Oh yeah, I know what that is. Okay, All right. And then you can just okay. Typing the password, and there's no evidence of it on the screen share. Fantastic. Okay, so looks like it's already in use. If you actually, it's just to check. Slash. Okay, so it is. We nice. see that Nginx is already running. This, awesome. this, because right now this is repointing to our, um, what our, what's it called, our Bitcoin D server. And now we're ready to run. Now we're ready to run npm start, and if we do that, we should be running our app. Okay, but remember that we can't run it on 3000 because of cores. So if you do this, you go to document. Sign. And we can sign. And we have a signature, we have a hash payload, and an address. All right. Yeah, that's it. Fantastic. So now, now let's do the um, let's do the um. You're saying so if you wanted to at the end like verify the signature, you would. Verification has not been implemented in here because there's oh. we needed the, we needed the database for that. Oh right, right. Okay, no problem. Yeah. But, okay, but that those are next steps. I, I'll write that up also. Cool. But that's it. It's a very simple demo for now. Trust me, it works. We have verification on like other data sets. And so we can verify on that, like from the command line on the yeah, like when the we're command doing line the, version. Um, yeah, you can JSON files and stuff. You can actually, if you sign this and yeah. take this, you can take the hash payload, use that as your message and signature and address, and you should be able to run. Um, you won't, you won't be able to check that the hash is correct, but I mean, we can do it that out of band though with any yeah, like you, anyone any algorithm. I mean, any um, implementation. Yeah. SHA-256 common, which is great. So if you do slash slash Bitcoin, yep. I think it's over here we have uh, check or validate message. Validate, verify. verify even better. Verify message. Okay. Wait, is it one word? I think it was. And copy this address. And it looks like we have to type this out because it does. Oh my God. Why isn't it letting me see that? There we go. Okay. You can hide this too. You can hide this. Yeah. Okay. And in the console, we have. Cool. 
Cool. Nice. That's a good way to not have to type it. And then signature. And this is our payload. Why is this doing this? That gives us true, so fantastic. Validate the message. Okay. All right. So, um, so that I consider um a uh, complete um victory, and um, thank you very much, Andrew Co. Mm -hmm. You definitely um earned the brass rat today. Thank you.